I'm sure everyone knows how to make a PowerPoint presentation. But if you want to step up the game and you want to make a visually appealing kind of presentation, just keep on watching. Hi there, it's me again, Teacher Jelly. Ang inyong picturelang lingkod. I received lots of comments and questions from my past videos and you guys are asking me how I make my presentation, where do I get my clip arts, etc. In this video, you'll see how I make my presentation from scratch. First of all, I want to thank Kitchen Corners for sending me these desserts na butik ng maubos bago ko maipakita. Kaya, sorry po, ito na lang. I have here three of their best sellers. I have their chocolate truffles. I also have their chocolate dream cake and chocolate butternut loaf delivered today. You can visit them on Facebook and Instagram. Here are some of the pictures of their goodies and desserts. First one, we have the truffles and I highly recommend this because it comes in two variants. They have the chocolate truffles and they also have the chocolate with matcha truffle. So yung mga mahilig sa chocolate at matcha dyan, ayan. Wish granted. I also like this butternut loaf. It's like a moist cake. So if you're a fan of moist cakes, I'm sure you'd like this. By the way, the coating of the choco butternut loaf is a desiccated coconut. Sinabi ko lang para at least ay alam nyo kung ano yung coating niya. And we have here the survivor of the day dahil siya lang ang nakasurvive ng buo. Ayan, buksan natin siya. At ngayon pa lang natin siya matitikman. Let's see. Ay, buong-buong pa siya, guys! Alam nyo, mahilig talaga ako sa chocolate. Let's try. Sabihin natin ang totoong lasa niya. Choco na choco. I think this is cocoa powder on top. And you have here the chocolate dream cake underneath. Sarap. Alam, chocolate to chocolate siya guys. Kung fan kayo ng chocolate like me, go. Pwede tayo video. Wait lang. Gusto mo lang. Ito ang boss. If you want to celebrate at home for birthdays, anniversaries, or any occasion, feel free to check their products and check for feedback from other customers and of course message to them to order. I mentioned this already in my past videos but just to reiterate I am using PowerPoint version 2013 but of course the higher versions would be better because there are some features that are unavailable to lower versions of PowerPoint but yeah I'm using 2013. To start let's look at the final product. Now, I want to show you how I did it. Of course, we're going to start with an empty slide. The first step that I'm going to show you is selecting your background color. It's very important to select a color that you think will blend out with the rest of the colors that you're going to use for your presentation. So to do that, right click on your slide and then select Format Background. Once you select that, you will see there's an option for you to choose the color that you like. Now we're going to create a text box. In doing that, click Insert Tab and Insert Shape. I am selecting this rectangle with rounded corners another option is insert and click text box now we're gonna jump into choosing our color fill in color and outline color what i love to do is i always play with the thickness yung kapal no linya no aking outline most of the time i use thick lines because for me it looks sharper and more neat 
now I'm just copying the same box and I'm choosing a darker shade that will serve as a shadow for my text box don't forget to click send back word now I'm just doing some adjustments it depends on how you like it but I want it to look big because it's gonna be like the title of my entire presentation okay now I'm just adding the text and I'm just writing down let's learn about colors here I'm gonna be using a very generic font style but I have a lot of fonts that I downloaded here on my computer and if you also have your own fonts that you downloaded feel free to use that whatever that looks best for your presentation now I'm just gonna duplicate this slide and to do that right click on your slide and select duplicate as you can see our first slide is too bare now I'm gonna put a few clip arts on our first slide now here's the thing I can actually search on Google for clip arts or images but because I already have a few clip arts here on my computer that are already compiled I'm just gonna select that and put that to my slide a lot of you have been asking me where do I get my clip art sometimes I make it and sometimes I just search for it and also sometimes I already have uh, a clip art on my computer hi Kevin so just to show you how are you gonna find a really good clip art on the internet the key there is to actually look for a clip art or picture with no background so let's try let's try to search on google crayons clip art png okay we found a clip art with transparent background so how will you know teachers if your if your clip art has a transparent background you'll see that there are white and gray grids or squares around the picture copy image and paste Another key to making your presentation visually appealing or pleasant is the color combination. So if your background is light, you have to make sure that you're going to use a dark color text and vice versa. What I'm trying to make here is a crayon. Now what you might be thinking right now is I can simply download it from the Google just like what we did earlier. The problem there is I cannot find a set of uniform crayons with transparent background. Gusto ko po kasi pare pareya sila. And if I make my own crayons, pwedeng pwede kong palitan yung mga kulay. I'm not so happy with the final look of my first crayon, so now I'm just trying to create a new one and I will compare it with the first one. An important thing about making your own clip art is layering. As an example, itong tip na ating crayon, ilalagay natin sa likod, hindi sa harap. So, let's not forget to layer our shapes properly. Finally, 
group the shapes into one clip art. How are you gonna do that? Select each shape one by one. Okay, select and then i-press mo lang yung control. Long press habang sineselect. Then, once you're done selecting all the shapes, control plus G. It means, ginugroup mo sila. You're grouping all of the shapes into one clip art. Let's backtrack a little bit. Okay, let's do it slowly. Select the shapes one by one. Next, press Ctrl G to group all the shapes into one clip art. Now, just adding a few more clip arts and shapes. Now we'll just go on duplicating the slide. And now we're changing the color of the crayon one by one. On to the final slide. And we're done! Yay! <laughs> so what have we learned today? We learned how to select the background color, create a text box, duplicate slides, Make your own clip art, layer the shapes, and group the shapes. Once again, I'm sharing this file with you. And inibin natin ng konti yung mechanics para mas mabilis for both of us. First, share this video and tag your friends. Next, message us your screenshot and your email address. Again, the mechanics is you have to share this video and tag your friends. After that, you just have to send us a screenshot and your working email address. Thanks for always watching. Leave a thumbs up and comment down your topic suggestions for our next video. I'll see you again, Shampre. Bye bye!